Well, Cody is blaming the church for mm. why he got into polygamy. Mm. But let's get into you guys. It's Mary. And Emma. We want you guys to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And do not forget to subscribe to our Patreon for live watch parties of Sister Wives, our Sister Wives skits and role plays, yeah. and also our behind the scenes content, you all. And to talk yes. to Mary and Alma one on one. Yes. Um, but let's go ahead and get right into this video, you guys. Mm -hmm. Cody is basically saying that the issue with his church is that it was not really Christ centered, but it was polygamy centered. Mm -hmm. And because of that, they did not even tell him about the type of woman that he should marry. So he really is, one, he's blaming the church yes. for being in polygamy. Mm -hmm. Then he is blaming the church for him marrying the wrong women. Then also he is blaming the church for why his life has gone to shit in a handbag. Oh, damn. <laughs> so, you know, it's been quite a bit. I feel like Cody probably is kind of denouncing, not denouncing, but I feel it like- It almost sounds like that's what he's doing, denouncing the church. I kind of feel like, which I feel like, I want to get into it more in another video, but I feel like maybe he is denouncing the religion out of fear that he going to hell for all the wrong things he has done. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he stopped, for me, it seems as though, like he said, he didn't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. So what baby? He, well, it's like a say, like, I, I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, meaning like, I don't want to denounce the whole entire church. Well, he but really- But there are certain things that I'm going to say about them. But well, to it was me, it seemed like, like he denounced it, but he was only doing it because he has that. friends. I mean, if I was his and friend and I said. watched the interview, I'd be like, you basically denounced it. You're just not denouncing it because of the um, of right. us. Well, but you well, basically saying that you don't believe in it because you basically are saying that you believe everything about Joseph Smith and that you can't read it and that now you are having yeah. like like Christ views, like Christian views or Mormon views. But you yeah, don't he believe has in more, it. He, he, I think he's saying he's leaning more. He is. He said he feels he's fine, okay? with just hanging his hat on the fact that, hey, you know something, um, I can just go out here and live my life any way I please because Christ has already died for my salvation. And so I'm good. Like he died for my sins and my sins are done with. And so I can just come do me, you know, like live a normal life, he says. So what he's trying to say is the LDS, that's what I'm hearing. It's not like then, void. It's not normal. Because if you gonna live a now a normal life, are you saying that the LDS is you're not normal? saying that the LDS and their beliefs is not it's not it's not you having a normal life, right? The other thing that um, he was saying was with with Joseph Smith, he was like I wasn't there when he had this his vision and you know of him being the prophet, so I wasn't there. I wasn't there when, you know, he was like, he was told, like, we have to be polygamous, you know. Um, and he says he probably does believe that Joseph Smith was a pedophile. He doesn't, he doesn't use that term, but that's what it is, right? When you're out here having sex with underage girls as young as 14 years old. Yeah. And um, coercing them. I mean, that's what you're pretty much doing because they're 14. They are not adults in America. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And in most places in the world, they're not considered adults. So he does believe that. So he also believes like, okay, but then he says something that was a little contradictory because he was like, he's having a hard time understanding how Joseph Smith, you can be this prophet and do like, get people in on the right side and all this only to fall so far down by doing all the other like pedophile stuff, all the other creepy stuff. The other thing of having um, going to another man's wife well, and also, having sex with them and saying that when they have sex with you, that means that they're gonna go to heaven. You are like committing adultery and so is that, and you're letting that woman do the same thing. And he did this several times. But he's also so, kind of trying to say that, um, he basically has to say How can someone essence. with all these beliefs be this 
kind of creepy and evil well, to do all these things and not have any control over themselves. As well. well, I don't know if Joseph Smith is the one who brought the religion forth, but if he is the one who did, he's basically kind of saying that, like, well, if he's the one who brought the religion forth, then maybe he did it so that like, he could justify all of his pervy behavior. That's what it sounded like he was also, saying to me. Exactly. So maybe he was trying to say that the religion was false. That yes. was how like Cody was and saying so to me. That, but then... But, then but he didn't he, want to say that because he, he had stopped, people in the religion. He stopped short of completely saying that because yeah. he also says that... I have friends in the religion. He well, not saying only that. that, he says that like, if I were to just totally push all this religion aside... It'll right? be like me telling everything. It's that, like that deleting, everything I said is a it's lie. like deleting a huge chunk of my life. Yeah. Because I've been in this faith for, so long. for at least 30 years of my life. And so if I just push this aside then that's deleting that. And this religion and brought before so many children and it brought so many children, people together. So and, I totally get that. And, and, and just a lot of goodness in his family. Yeah. So I understand how... I mean, I, he's conflicted for be. sure. But I, I mean, you can see can where be. his mindset is for sure. And I felt I was easy. happy that he was, in that sense, I was happy that he showed his vulnerability in that. Because I'm still a man that is wrestling with all of this stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying and I'm you telling the book. you, yes, I'm telling you where I am. So I was, I was, um, I applaud him for his honesty and being vulnerable in that moment to really say that because it's a very hard thing to say and acknowledge. But maybe I also think to myself that it's easy to acknowledge it now because you feel like such a failure yeah. in it. So now it's easy. I wonder if he will be saying all of these things, right? Yeah. If he was still married successfully to these women or was talking to these children. Probably not. Will you still have, because my thing about this whole thing is this, you've already known about Joseph Smith. This is not, you just didn't find out. This was on now, season four when they went and they were talking to Christine or whatever. They were the sitting on like, the oh, bench and exactly. they were talking about how he was marrying other women's wives. Right. And even back then I was like, I didn't want to say anything, but my, but you could, like, well, if you know what I'm thinking, thinking, then you just say, I know what you're thinking. But so, that's what, yeah. like, because even when so, you said back then, I was just like, okay, that's odd. Yeah, yeah. So... So you knew all of these things. You know that he you was, never you said know anything. He was convicted, right? He so, was convicted. Yeah, I do believe. When did Jesus he die? Smith. What year was that? Wait, was he convicted, or was he the one who was shot dead? Wasn't he the one shot dead out of the I jail, was, and there was people who came to? Yeah, come so I think he was in jail, and then he was shot. Probably with all the husbands. And if you guys correct us if we're wrong. We're we're not part of this religion. Uh, but we're really trying to understand. Yeah. So please correct us if we're wrong. Um, but yeah, it just sounded to me, you already knew all of this, yet you, you know, I feel as though you had you had conflicts with this, but you continue to stay because of your ego. Yeah. Right. It's all about the ego. And baby. so the problem with that, the problem I have with that is that when you do stuff like that, you stay in a religion, not so much because of God, because you all stopped praying a long time ago. Well, we didn't see you all going to church and making the prayers that you all were doing, but I just assumed that you all stopped. And you said you all have stopped. Um, but you stayed in it anyway. The problem with that, when you do stuff like that, it's very easy for you to jump ship when things are going awry. So even yeah. though you accuse, and Robin did the same thing, accusing Christine of jumping ship, you, Cody, jumped ship from Mary a long time ago. And when Christine had problems with you, instead of you getting in that foxhole with her and correcting yourself, you also jumped ship. You know, when you were not getting along with the children, you also jump ship. So the problem with someone like Cody, who stays Jumping in a ship. faith, 
even though he has questions and probably stopped believing after he heard that. And maybe you all showed it to us on television season four, but I do believe you, Cody, already knew this, right? We were just seeing it now. Yeah. The problem with that, when you stay in a religion, even though you have questions about it, legitimate questions about it, but you stay because of your ego, it's very easy when your ego is not being served, then it's easy to jump ship. And that's what you've done. So yeah. now it's very easy for you to get on television and tell us all of this. And yes, we could say you're honest and you know you showed your vulnerability. But at the same time, you have been showing your vulnerability when things were- um, Oh, hunky-dory. Hunky-dory, and your wives were a cover for you. Yeah, you know also want to talk about that too. So like, okay, you know, you're honest and vulnerable, but it serves you now to be that because you can say, mm, that's why I failed because of this whole Joe Smith stuff. And, and the leaders are frauds. Me, and the leaders are all about self aggrandization But that's why you said these are the leaders. All of them are self aggrandizing I was like, we got to talk about that too. Okay, honey. Damn. But let's get into it, y'all. It's, oh, anyway. <laughs> we'll see y'all on the next video. It's Mary. And um, we invite y'all to like. Please don't forget to subscribe. And do not and forget to subscribe. And hit that like button. Yes, you guys. And, and put comment. a comment down below. Yes. And do not forget to hit the, um, Go bell. down to our in description the, below oh, yes, and yes. check out our Patreon and see how you can contribute to the success of this channel. Yes. Bye!